All right, ladies and gentlemen, of course, our friend Andy McCarthy is uh, not only best-selling author and editor at National Review, but also former assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. Uh, hey, Andy, how are you, my friend? I'm doing great, Steve. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I'm a little uh, winded. Just had a little uh, back and forth with Dr. Boyce Watkins, uh, uh -huh. who said that the jury, only a racist jury, could come up with the, uh, the, uh, the verdict that they came up with. I want to talk to you about this uh, Justice Department and uh, Eric Holder today saying, first of all, before uh, an audience at Delta Sigma Beta, uh, the Justice Department shares your concern with the verdict. I share your concern with the verdict. Um, how bizarre is that? It's very bizarre because when I was a federal prosecutor, the uh, you know the Justice Department's uh, standard line, and it was one that uh, we was standard because we believed it was that we respected the jury process and respected jury verdicts even when we lost. So, you know, it's remarkable to me that, you know, given that we had a trial that was on television so that the, all the world could see, um, it, it was clear that the state got every opportunity to, to put its case in, uh, that the state got the right to have the jury that it wanted, that it proceeded with a case that the professional investigators didn't want to charge at the beginning because they didn't think uh, there was grounds uh, to support a murder prosecution, but they got a full and fair chance to put it in, and you know, frankly, it was a rout uh, for the, for the accused, which is what it should be when the state doesn't have proof of the charge they bring. And so, move. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that's that's it. Yeah, and so moving forward now, uh, where Holder says an investigation is open. Uh, and I, and uh, that uh, the department will conduct itself as uh, the investigation uh, consistent with the facts and the law. Uh, but yet the FBI for, for months has been conducting or did conduct an investigation looking for racial bias, looking for racism. They interviewed dozens of people. Nothing. So why doesn't Eric Holder just say that and say we've done it and there's no there there? We're doing we're seeing, Steve, part two of essentially what he did in the uh, investigation of the CIA interrogators who carried out the uh, Bush enhanced interrogation program against the high value terrorists. If you remember what happened in that case, professional prosecutors, not political appointees, had scrubbed those allegations and decided there was no crime that could be brought under federal law. Holder reopened the investigation when uh, Obama was elected, and this way, by having an open investigation but not bringing charges, he was able to tell Obama's political base, don't worry, we're aggressively investigating this. But when he got called on it by Congress or anyone else, say, hey, look, you know, we haven't, uh, we haven't filed any charges. Nothing important has happened here. Uh, don't worry about it. So, you know, basically they keep the issue alive, which is, you know, when you're doing law instead of politics, you want to keep the issue alive. Yeah. All right. Now, let's move on. Well, first of all, do you think... They will bring a, 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 a federal prosecution against uh, uh, George Zimmerman. And if they do, unless, unless there's more evidence we don't know about, with everything having been said and assuming that's all they have, can they bring one successfully? No, I don't think so. I, you know, look, I, I didn't think they'd bring a case against the CIA interrogators because there was no there there. And I think in this instance, a federal charge against Zimmerman would be even more frivolous than the state charge was. Uh, in the state, they had no evidence of intentional murder or depraved mind murder. Uh, and it was clear even on the manslaughter that, you know, he had a justifiable uh, self-defense defense to put in. Uh, so, you know, that's a case. That's the reason the police never wanted to bring it in the first place. In a federal case, you'd not only have all those same problems, you would also have to show racial bias, which uh, they obviously were not able to, to show in the Florida case. And in addition, that Zimmerman acted intending to impede Martin in the enjoyment of some cognizable federal civil right. Um, I, I, I just don't see where that comes in in this case at all. Did you hear, Andy, Angela Corey today on Headline News? Uh, no. Okay, do we have that cut uh, 30? Let's play cut 30. She's going to be asked by the interviewer, uh, George Zimmerman, and then she's got to give a word. Then let's cut it after her answer before we get to De La Rionda. Here it is. 
One word to describe George Zimmerman. Steve, if she answered, I wasn't able Wait, to but hear. No, no, well, she just said it. I should have told you there was a long pause. Sorry. I should have told you that was my fault. She said, murderer. <laughs> it's disgraceful. Um, you know, a lot of times, Steve, you get a case that's a very close case. And prosecutors should never be afraid to bring close cases. Uh, you should never bring a case unless you think a jury in good faith could convict. Um, but you shouldn't shy away from being close cases and sometimes we do that because the job of a prosecutor is to put the government's best case forward but then to respect the verdict that the community comes to that's why we try cases to juries and to have a prosecutor come out and say something like that after the jury has decided the case to me is just a reprehensible thing to do does she have a uh... A defamation, does she? Does he have a defamation case against her? Because uh, we've already been told uh, here today that uh, she's not protected because this wasn't in her role as a prosecutor. She's not, she doesn't have immunity uh, against that now. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm always hesitant to, to, you know, give that kind of legal advice on the air. It's not really right. what the lawyer's supposed to do, but I'll say, I'll, I, I'd say this much about it. You know, they've done everything they can to try to turn Zimmerman into a public figure. It's a little bit unfair uh, under the law at this point for the if they were to come back and say you know he's a public figure so we have a higher uh, latitude in the kind of demagogic things we can say about him. It seems to me that uh, and, and you know and you're you're well versed in the, in media bias. It seems like the media is certainly uh, treating uh, George Zimmerman um, as probably the biggest pariah I could recall, including some terrorists in a long, long time. It's a, a great point, Steve. You know, Eric Holder lectured us about the need to move terrorism cases back to the civilian system from the military system because he wanted us to understand that we really owe due process to people like Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. And that's fair enough. But where's George Zimmerman's due process? Yeah, no, that's a very, very good question. So uh, Zimmerman never has a, 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 a new life. He's suing NBC. Uh, what about a civil suit? We only have a minute. A civil suit, uh, if the parents bring a civil suit against him, uh, then he gets to bring in, first of all, he could then go for, and, and seek a stand your ground ruling, which would, which would overrule that or override that, I think. And also, his side could then bring in all kinds of things about Trayvon Martin's past, correct? Yeah, I think, you know, I, the Martin family, I thought, acted with, uh, with great dignity in the, uh, after the jury returned its verdict. And I think, you know, at a certain point in time, uh, good sense is going to prevail. Uh, I, you know, it's not going to end up, it, it doesn't do anything for the Martin family to have a civil case. Well, I, who am I to advise them? But, you know, th there's going to be, uh, there's an ability in a civil context to put Trayvon Martin on trial, so right. that, that really isn't there in the, in the uh, criminal. Right. And you know, they're probably not going to want to do that.